Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god, be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow, be hey. Alright Capricorn, how are you? Oh my god, hold on. See, it drives me nuts when the camera shakes. It really does. And I'm like, is it because it's on carpet? Is that why? Because I can't it can't shake every time I put a card down. This is a tarot reading. Do you see what I'm saying? You see that? Oh, that drives me so crazy. Okay. Welcome to Schnookums land and hello to my existing Schnookums. We're getting started now with this reading. Um, it is an all signs general reading and it's free. Um, thank you very much for acknowledging that this is also a no entitlement channel. So none of these readings is your entitlement. Um, they don't have to be served and they don't have to be free. Okay, so I really am grateful for those of you who acknowledge that. Thank you so much for being my loyal schnookums. If you would like a paid general, a paid um, personal reading, uh, you are very welcome to click on the join link and <clears throat> find it on my homepage. Let's get this reading started. Oh gosh, it's just I would just wish the camera wouldn't shake sometimes. Do you know what I mean? It's okay. By the way, shout out to my OGs who've been with this channel forever. My goodness, you're amazing. I love you for real. Okay. Um, Page of Pentacles energy. This is indication of a uh, possible token of apology. Uh, in some cases, because the token is so small, um, it could represent a little bit of breadcrumbing, a little bit of just, you know, giving too little and I'm a little bit shocked. I, did, I didn't expect to see this for some reason. Ah, oh, Cup of Schnooks is on the bottom. King Cuppa, I don't know if you guys know who he is on this channel, but he's like a great omen. If you don't know who he is and you would like to find out and why we call him King Cuppa, you can always go on the channel homepage and look for a video with the tarot thumbnail entitled Tarot Shocker, and you will see... Why King Cuppa is so special on this channel. Um, he's the King of Cups. Now, to see him on the bottom is a little bit surprising with these other cards because these other cards are speaking of agony and somebody walking away. In fact, the Seven of Swords is also flashing in front of me. The cards are kind of going a little bit out of sync with the Devil card showing as well. So somebody is not pleased with their own life. This is a lot of strife here. You know, Five of Swords, energy, inner conflict, and all of that. So with the Nine of Swords, I feel that this person is in pain. Ten of Wands, oh my God, what a burden. I think that this person bit off a little bit more, that they, more than they could chew, and they've probably told you as much. Uh, whether it's with a relationship or it's with their work life, there's something here that's burdening this person. And I think that, you know, it's funny. I don't want you to watch your words ever, but... I just think that this person is a little bit more sensitive to language than they will ever admit. Um, I think that words do get them. Things that are said do um, penetrate the way that they think about themselves. So that's showing up here. Um, I still think that this person is carrying a load of feelings. So this could be a person past, present or future. But I feel that this person is still carrying a load of feelings for you. Knight of Cups energy. If you don't have a person, somebody could have walked away only to come back. Um, but there's a brand new beginning showing up here with the full card. Either way, there's a new sort of um, reach in time. I think somebody's still with you sort of 
in their subconscious okay um hang on it's annoying me it's so annoying i don't know i'm just the camera set up today it's okay though don't worry let's move over to your side and just see what we can pick up here You know what, Capricorn, the energy is off today. I don't know. I mean, this is showing you single. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can shift this table. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Yeah, maybe this is just better this way. Yeah. Um, because that stability is everything for a Libra, you know? Everything has to be stable. We don't like foolery. Okay, that's much better. Much better. Even the lighting is much better as well. Okay. Yeah. Oof, Lord, now I can concentrate. My dear, what's going on though? You know? Even if you're not single, it feels like you are solo dolo you're going at things independently even when you are in a connection or in a relationship you do you're trying to handle everything by yourself um i i see a disconnect here in communication between you and someone it's just not connecting it's not connect you're not saying what you need to say to each other yeah look at that yeah i'm not surprised to see the tower card so some of you could have gone through something uh, devastatingly difficult, or you could just be going through a, a bit of confusion because I, I am feeling that energy. You know, you could just be overwhelmed with the way that uh, life has been going for you recently. Some of you have been feeling really, um, look at this. I mean, come on. Yeah, you're trying to keep a strong face, but I think internally there's an explosion going on. And so what I want you to do is really calm down. Some of you are focusing on work. Some of you are exploding because of work and thinking of leaving, actually, with the Six of Swords at the bottom. Because you give too much to people and they don't give back. Yeah, look. See, you've pulled the 666. I, you know, I don't like that number. I, you know, I don't know why we believe in these silly things, right? Whoever assigned that number and why did we all of a sudden start believing it was something bad? <laughs> you know, like in this world, all these things that people come up with. But listen, the Six of Swords is really more of you distancing yourself, you know, feeling a drifting apart, an emotional drifting apart. The Six of Pentacles is a lot about you giving too much you know it's charity but somebody could be wanting to invest in you because look at this six of wands which is a victory card right next to that so there's a lot going on and i think you need a breather and i think you're playing it tough and you're taking on things by yourself and that's exploding inside of you a little bit i would say there's deception somewhere somebody is not being truthful about you know, either the pains being caused or something that's going on. You have the Seven of Swords. There was a Seven of Swords over here. You also have the um, Five of Swords, which is a lot. You know that Fives are always challenges. So there's a lot of conflict, a lot of struggle um, that is happening on your end. <clears throat> I don't know what people say. It's okay. All right, Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is Schnookums Land, home of the cutest Schnookums. If you're not one of us, join the tribe, hit subscribe. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this party started. 
Thank you very much for acknowledging that this is the official no entitlement channel. Nothing here is your entitlement at all whatsoever on any basis. And I thank you so much for acknowledging that. Shout out to all those who make these uh, readings possible, posting them at the time they should be posted and doing all of this for you to enjoy for free. These are general readings. They are not your personal readings on any level. Um, they apply to literally any Aquarius on the planet, any Aquarian on the planet. If you would like your own personal reading, we do have a join button on the channel homepage. Now let's get started and see what we have for you today. I can't believe that. No, I can't. <sighs> Sorry. I mean, this is good. You know, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Someone is obviously thinking about, you know, how much more they would have to give to you in order to get that sense of fulfillment for you. If you don't have a person, it looks like there's something brewing here. But this is good energy, all of it. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, even the Ace of Swords. There's truth and clarification coming out. Uh, the swords ruling all of that communication, especially if somebody hasn't been speaking for a while, four swords showing up there. So definitely a little bit of silence. Um, seven of swords. I mean, seven of wands. Let me see. Let's see what's, what comes out. Yeah, seven of swords is definitely different from seven of wands. So no, you have not pulled or your person or your love life has not pulled a seven of swords just yet. All right, fine. The devil card. Damn it. It's almost like the Seven of Swords. I see. Two of Wands energy. And the lovers at the bottom. So do you know what? I really think that somebody is truly obsessing about how to get you, either how to get you or how to get you back. If the person is left with the Six of Swords, um they're still entangled four of wands energy they still think you're beautiful queen of wands and they miss you somebody really really needs your presence you know it's like they they really need your presence you may have gotten into some sort of argument or back and forth or just a disconnect over an issue and i think this person needs your presence it's just for some of you, they have toxic traits, though. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to keep running back to that? <laughs> That's the thing. You can tell as much of a romantic story as you want. But just because somebody misses you, feels for you, likes you, is strategizing how to get to you, is with you, or wants to be with you, whatever. It doesn't mean whatever, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I watch too much Instagram, clearly. But it doesn't mean that you know they deserve a place in your life yes i'm reading the energies of somebody who seems to be slightly obsessed you know wants to be with you yes i get that i'm reading that but so what right see nine of wands they cause you stress you like that stress fine but let's not pretend like somebody liking you is enough for love to bloom I think this person makes you work for their love as well. It's almost like you have to put in a bid for their attention. Oh, God. You don't have to work for love. Look at you. I think you get weak because of the physical. You're attracted to a certain type of person, and so you fall very easily. And look at the cards calling you out, saying that you've been repeating the same pattern since 1976. <laughs> Some of you weren't even born until 2006. But that's how long you've been repeating it. Look, look, look at the card supporting me. This is history. Six of Cups energy. They're like, yeah, girl, some of them have been. They're calling you entirely out. They're saying that you've not changed. The wheel has turned, giving you opportunities to sort of embrace something different in your life. And I feel like a lot of you have been stuck where you are, wanting to just kind of stay there. Brand new beginning in love. Something is changing in, in what you want and in your connection with somebody but i will say something is not changing in terms of how much you've been getting so this is huge huge conflict i think people are starting to talk about you not that you should give a bloody 
heck, but people are starting to talk about you. And you have this wish fulfillment that's also showing up here, um, I think on both sides. So what happens in your connections is that it's not a matter of whether somebody likes you or not. I think it's you holding on for longer than you should, um, being a missed drama that you shouldn't be involved in, and you know, sort of putting out a lot, working to get approval, yeah, look how much hard work and energy that you put in. And then you just come out with a little bit, you know, a little bit, always expecting an apology. How many times is somebody going to apologize to you? These are all questions that are being formed here. Now, even after having said that, there are three aces on both sides combined. So I do expect that some of you are learning from this channel and thinking about who stresses you out, who doesn't, and how love needs to be done. And as a result of that, I can see an opportunity here for um, a new beginning. I will put it that way. With whom? That's up to you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm already tired though. That's the thing. Like I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Shall I stop it? Now just keep going then. Ah, oh, Lord. Like, this is like, this is too much work. Okay? Doing tarot readings is just too much work. That's why I'm so intolerant of disrespect on this channel. Like, I'm not going to both give you free labor and take an insult. Even if you, even if it's a little bit of an insult. I just, I don't even tolerate it at all like even because i'm tired as i'm doing this but i'm still doing it and you're getting it at no cost and this is not a cheap skill but i'm still posting do you see what i'm saying so my level of tolerance for disrespect is so lit it's so tiny it's non-existent it's a nano darling and I support every tarot reader. One of the first tarot readers I saw that somebody introduced me to, I love the way he cusses people out. And I wish I had that time for the peasants. I don't. All I do is block. He takes time and he lets them know right then and out. But see, the thing is, that he's still cute with his. Mine, I will destroy you. You will be left crying for days. So that's why I don't go there with people. I don't say anything because once I start talking, I don't stop. And I'm a real psychic. And I don't insult with just words. I insult with the things that are very, very, very vulnerable to you. And you will cry, male or female. So I do not go there. The only thing I do is I say on this channel all the time, respect only. The minute there's disrespect, the minute there is disrespect, you're gone for life. For life. You can create other accounts. I will detect you and I will block you again and again and again. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a craft. This is what, this is a craft. It's a skill. It doesn't have to be free. Nobody has to post any readings at any time for anybody, for any reason. Do you see what I'm saying? So you come here, you come with respect. And now, welcome to Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. How are you doing? Let's get this show on the road. Uh, for those of you who'd like to get started, we can do that. If you want your own personal reading, uh, you're welcome to click on the channel homepage and click on the join button for others. Acknowledge, please, that this is a very free and very general reading for all of the signs. Uh, nothing here is your entitlement. Thank you so much, everybody, for the acknowledgement that there is no entitlement on this channel. This is, in fact, the no entitlement channel. Um, I appreciate you for acknowledging that. Let's get started with the reading on some bullshit for you. All right. Um... Oh, multiple fours for... Four of Cups, Four of Swords. Hmm. 
Okay. After all of that, this person's giving me checked out. They can't see you right now. I don't know why. This is a lot of silence. This is um, just not being able to see what's in front of them. Let's see why. Oh, my God. Somebody may have gotten in between you and somebody that you were interested in or are interested in. Their attention got, you know, they're distracted. Either by this person's beauty or by their presence or their whatever. They're just not focused as much on you as they should be. Um, I think more, some of you may have called this person out and, you know, <clears throat> They may have attempted to gaslight you by making it seem as though you were <laughs> you were responsible. Mm. I would say that this person comes with a lot of baggage anyway. And um, I think you should tread carefully with people who have this level of sensitivity attached to them. They could have, you know, parental issues, mommy issues, whatever. I think this person is really attractive and it's hard to release them from your spirit. Um, if you don't have a person, we're looking at a situation in which um, somebody might play hard to get. You know, I don't know what all this silence is about. They seem like they feel like they, they prop themselves up to the highest. <laughs> you know what I mean? They think of themselves very highly, but when you look more deeply, you'll see some flaws. You'll see some things that are broken, you know, you'll see scarring and baggage and burden. And so, you know, for others of you, I just think you've had a closure issue with the same type of person because you fall for their looks or something superficial. If it's not looks, it's something. Um, and you like to heal. Yeah. And I'm not surprised because Pisces, Pisces and Pisces are healers. Uh, you like to heal. You like to really connect with people and Hang on. I have an injury. I think sometimes you, um, <sighs> there's an injury on my finger. Anyway, so wherever the void was with this person, when it comes to maternal energy, I think some of you tried to fill it, you know, even if you're a, a male Piscean, um, you've, often play the role for people and um, that puts you, you know, as if you're some kind of father figure. Now I will say this is you anyway, father figure, mother figure. Um, try to be a mate, you know, as opposed to a healer. Try to just focus on, you know, the love. The King and Queen of Cups, they're very much a couple. And I see you pulling somebody in your life who's there to be with you. <sighs> but I do, yeah, I mean, they're two queens. Like I said, there's a, there was a distraction in your person. If you have a person, somebody distracted them. It made you feel alone. Yeah, nine of pentacles. I'm not surprised. It doesn't mean that, you know, because of this whatever crap happened and the back and forth energy you've been feeling like, oh, now that's the end of the world. I just think that their actions triggered a reaction in you. Um, you know, with them holding back or being silent, you began to hold back or be silent. And you've seen this story before. I feel like something is not ended here. The emperor has come out to meet the empress, but you are aware of yourself and you are aware that sometimes you attract and like people who have options or you yourself have options. You see this seven of cups, you could be rummaging through. I'm just saying the same types of options that repeat the same types of crap in your life, which is your toxic trait. Some of you, I don't even care if it's your toxic trait, singular, because this is not your singular personal reading. I'm talking to a plural, a plural plurality of Pisces. So whether it's, whether you're watching this thinking, oh my God, that's not my toxic trait. Good for you. Don't give a damn, right? We're very clear on that. Um, for those Pisceans to whom this pertains, this is pointing out that, you know, there's a toxicity here in terms of a philandering fool. Somebody here is not as faithful as they should be. There are too many um, court cards and there are too many queens for the, just this one king. So 
I think that you're giving a lot, trying to help people, heal people, and uh, it's keeping you stuck because you're afraid to take a leap. You know, look at you still stuck, still hanging on to something, afraid to take a leap where you should. So a lot of you have dealt with a lot of back and forth energy um, and you're just trying to be strong because you feel a connection to somebody and that's what's keeping you going. Hello Aries and welcome to this reading. Um, as I've just told Pisces, I am exhausted for doing this reading, which is an indication and a reminder of why I tolerate absolutely nothing on this channel. I don't tolerate it. <laughs> you know I mean, for the, those who are new, because I know those existing people already know this. So I'm sorry that I have to say this. Um, but for those who are new, I mean, if you've just tuned in, this is not the place for you if you feel any sort of entitlement. Um, because I'm, I'm just so exhausted. And I'm like, why am I doing I'm like doing this stuff for free. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not both going to give you this skill and take any crap from anybody. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, this sh I shouldn't even be doing this. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, wait, why am I doing this? Especially because I'm tired. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm freaking exhausted. You put this out there for them and, and, and then you, you get one troll, one ugly, nasty troll, you know, writing something and you're like, oh, pardon me, I've just spent all of this energy doing all of this for these ungrateful pieces of, it. do you know what I mean? No, so that's why it's just very strict around here. It's so strict. I don't even, oh my God, I don't. And I don't have time to cuss people out because I'll damage them emotionally for life. So I just don't even do, I don't go there. But yeah, I mean, thank you so much for those of you who are very respectful of the channel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you've had to, to hear this at all. Um, it's just, it's just, I think, you know, sometimes things are just so... Um, taken for granted you know what I mean like in this culture it's just like this entitlement culture YouTube has taught people that yeah you know you go anywhere you say anything and do you know what I mean like everybody's such an animal now um well not everybody <laughs> Look, my cards play like this all the time like you should see like when I'm just doing the cards for like other readings that are not general Oh my God, the way they play around is so funny. Like, cause they're so connected to me now. So they read my mind and they like, try to give me a hug or they'll say something to like support what I'm talking about. It's so funny. Anyway, all right, let's get started with your reading. Of course, keep in mind, it's a general reading. It's not a personal reading. If you'd like a personal reading, we do have a channel homepage and a join button that you can click. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love, very beautiful. Um, so this is your love life or your person and you know it feels like the energy is really shifting for you into something really great there's some reflection here that some someone's doing uh, they're coming to sound judgment with that judgment card um, and just kind of looking for a new beginning I think this is just man some of you Aryans must be like me where you've had enough of something because I think somebody here has had a lot of time to reflect and they know that like to deal with you um they're gonna have to keep it gully do you know what I mean like they know that they're gonna have to come correct these are all beautiful cards and it's presenting a new beginning oh my god I just said that the cards are really in sync with me now that's how you can tell you know when they come out with something I haven't even I'm still saying um, but yeah, brand new beginnings, aces showing up for you. Um, I think something really good is on its way. If it's not there already, um, you also have this four of pentacles on this side. So for some of you, someone is still holding on to something that was said. Okay. And that may have been, that may be why there's an expectation here that something will change because they're still holding on to something that you've said to them. Um, uh, you might have been gully like me. You might have said something that really penetrated. Um, it might have been deep and dark, um, but it, it, it did the job. I mean, you know, you, might, you may have cut them off. Um, and this sword is really speaking to that. It's really for some of you who have used speech 
you could have said something that cut a little bit, or you could have thought something and expressed it through action because Arians, you know, they're, they're fire signs. And so wands represent that action that could have been taken. Others of you are still in your mind about something, deciding whether or not, yeah, um, something will come to light. So I think you've been obsessed, some of you, with a particular type of question that you could have asked and trying to decide, you know, how that's going to turn out. Both are showing the judgment right now. So both are coming to that place of resolution, that sound judgment. If you have something that has been hanging in the balance with somebody for a while, um, I also see a brand new beginning, just new energy, new energy, you know, wherever it was that somebody took you the last time, they don't want to go there again. End of. Do you know what I mean? Your love life doesn't want to go there again. It wants to move you forward. I think you'll be happy with it, with the sun card. Um, and I think some of you are starting to use your mind now as opposed to, you know what, your wands, your, you know, phallic symbol. Um, and so that's what's bringing this change. I see these beautiful cards. I mean, the only card that was slightly, you know, tough was the four of pentacles. But every other card here that is reflected in your... Um, every other card here that's reflected in your, um, in your person or your love life was really sweet. It was really tender. Um, sorry, I have an injury. It's so insane, man. Bloody injury. No, it's right here. Okay. Mm. How many people say? Somebody has been thinking of approaching you, Taurus. By the way, everybody, welcome to Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnooks. How are you guys doing? Thank you for acknowledging that this is the No Entitlement channel. I appreciate all of you who acknowledge that and, of course, understand the consequences of those who do not. Um, this is a free general channel and all of these readings are free in general. They're not your personal reading. They do not pertain to you personally uh, or any aspect of your life personally. This is not personal to you in any way. This is not your personal reading. This is not your personal reading and this is not your personal reading. This is a general reading on the internet. I do not know you personally. I likely never will. If you'd like a personal reading, you're welcome to go to the channel homepage and click the join button and that will get you your personal reading as well as some work workshops that are wellness workshops focused on women's growth. All right, back to this. With the Knight of Cups, um, I really feel someone wants to approach you in love. I don't know how they're going to get about it. I don't know how they're going to go about it, but they are thinking about it. They're trying to really elevate from whatever fallouts they've had in the past, present or future with you. Um, this person is really manifesting. I will say your love life is probably, there's something coming that will shake things up. Uh, with that tower and the magician, yeah, it is likely. Um, some of you will have some reason, you know, presented to you. Something will be revealed as to why somebody chose to remain silent for so long. And it will more than likely, with this three of pentacles, yeah, it will more than likely be because someone was involved with something else, someone else, or someplace else. So a person, place, or thing has come in between you and someone. And that's why that person chose silence. And they've really struggled, according to this Five of Swords, to really explain why, yeah, lots of silence showing up. Look at this Four of Swords also coming out. And the judgment, I will say, you know, if it's not another person, listen, they've just been in reflection. OK, they have a lot going on, possible disaster in their life. But there's a shake up here with your love life in general. Anyway, feels to me like 
something monumental will shift. Uh, for, for those of you who have been scarred in the past, you will get a test that will ask you whether you are ready to meet somebody or to be with somebody in a way that is healthy. Uh, you've had a lot of anxiety because you've needed to do something in your love life for the longest time and you have not done it. I think you're hiding in the dark. Um, you felt a certain way for a long time and you've not pulled yourself out just yet. I think your friends are sources of help. They're telling you to pull yourself out. They're trying to help you. Um, but you're taking things, you know, a little bit at a time, which is great for you. Page of Pentacles energy. Others of you fell for somebody who breadcrumbed you, didn't give you enough while you gave everything uh, with that King of Cups energy. That's Cup of Schnooks coming out. Now, <laughs> Cup of Wakanda. King of Wands is coming out. Um, I would say that you've played both roles. Some of you, if you have children with somebody, uh, family is showing up here. I feel that you've, you've played both roles. Um, you know, ugh, man, this is this got deep really quickly. If you have children with somebody, you've had to play both roles. Or maybe you have split and then you are seeing somebody who may be like a step figure or something of the sort. Or you yourself could have grown up as um, someone's stepchild. Uh, your family issues are all showing up here. Ten of Cups and Six of Cups is going back to childhood. Some of that has planted a seed of deep abandonment with within you. It's like an abandonment complex that you don't even know that you might have, some of you. And that's where a lot of this anxiety is coming from because you can be in a room filled with people and still feel, feel like... Um, you know, you're sort of alone. Um, and then for others of you, this is just you playing multiple roles uh, for a child that you've had with somebody else. And that's keeping you up at night, you know, because it's like you're not getting the help that you need. Um, you keep reflecting back on the past and feeling like maybe you should edit some of the decisions that you've made in love. But don't worry. I mean, I see this circle, this rainbow ahead, this vision of ahead. I see people wanting to help you, wanting to come into your life and see what's going on with you, even though some of you are keeping them out. And I see some monumental changes coming in your love life. I think there's going to be a shakeup uh, with that tower. Yeah, I mean, and someone who's not spoken for a while, I think will step forward. There's a chance here for a budding romance. We just don't know the extent of it just yet. Um, the funny thing is, I think I'm going to have to break after Gemini. Oh, no, I can't break these videos, can I? I have to keep going. They have to. It's almost like a live, really. Okay, let me just pause then. Every time she puts it in your face. Hello, Gemini, and welcome. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnooks. How are you guys doing? Um, all right, let's get this show on the road and just see what we have for you. Thank you in advance for acknowledging that this is a no entitlement channel. You've watched the intro, you've watched the jingle, you've watched the channel trailer, all of that. And so you know how things operate around here. Glad to see all of my OGs, of course, as usual. Let's see what we can pull out for you today, okay? Every time she puts it in your face. Oh, wow, really? I was not expecting that. Usually, I mean, yeah, I mean, somebody holding up your time or wasting it or if there's a timing issue typically would not want to talk or present a conversation um of course keep in mind that this is not your personal reading this is a general reading for all the gemini's if you want a personal reading you're free to join and actually pay for one this is a free general reading and it is not customized to you um, having said that, it seems like there's a conversation, there's a back and forth energy that is brewing here and time, time seems to have passed enough to heal whatever issues could be afoot between you and someone who could have been stubborn, things could have slowed down with the person, um, Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Someone's coming back, obviously. Yeah, I mean, there's something approaching you. I don't know. If you leave your house, you'll probably find it. But see, somebody here could have been deceptive, though. No wonder you would have kicked that person out. <laughs> yeah, they want to have the last word. Somebody wants to have the last word. There's an argument or something that could have happened. This person feels like they need to have the last word. So I don't know what they're coming back for. And um, they're coming back for a whole number of reasons. It's like, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're into you. They're mad at you. They want you. They're physically attracted to you. It bothers them that something was said. They want to be committed, but then they're toxic. And then, you know, there's a lot. But somebody's coming back because, you know, they want this brand new refreshing thing going on. And they're still enamored with you. Um, they've gone to see and sort what's out there and now their stubbornness is melting because they're like oh wait a minute this isn't like gemini's experience so i need to crawl back now to gemini great i feel like this person is conflicted internally they have an inner conflict that's showing up here um i think people are chatting and talking about their connection with you for it or i don't know why yeah not that you would care what people would be saying because people are idiots but I mean, there's a little bit of conflict brewing around this person's connection to you. Even if you don't know it or know, you know, whom those people could be. You're manifesting a good outcome between your love life and you or you and somebody else. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because people are so bad at grammar. It's really funny. Somebody must have taught them that you should always say you and I. You know, like, it doesn't even matter if it's the subject or the object. Can, can, can you do this for you and I? <laughs> no, it's can you do this for you and me? You don't just say you and I whenever you, you feel like it. Just because somebody taught you one time that the proper use of the subject is I. Oh my God. Like, they really need to reinstate grammar lessons. You know, like, because they don't teach grammar anymore. So anybody just says it, anything. You're like, what is it? And they think they sound so educated. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Back to this. <laughs> Said that wasn't the best thing for you and I. No, it was, was not the best thing for you and me. For you and me is fine. You don't have to do you and I and try to be fancy and didn't end up sounding ignorant, illiterate as <laughs> behave. What are you doing? Focus and read, girl. Oh my god, not you calling somebody out in the middle of a Gemini reading. Gemini, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so sorry for you and I. Um, <laughs> not the illiterate club. Okay. Um, so I just think that there's a lot of burden happening um, on your end. I think, you know, you don't know the outcome of something and you've been weighing whether or not it's been real. Um, again, like I pointed out, I feel like there's a conversation here that could have been argumentative and, be, and I do feel like everybody wants to have the last word or both of you did at that point in time. Um, but swords are really sharp, right? Words matter. <laughs> Grammar <laughs> matters. <laughs> You know, and swords, you know, rule words and grammar and language and communication and all of those things. And they're coming out right now. I feel like you don't hear what you need to hear out of connections and relationships. And so you try to make things happen, right? You put in the labor, you put in the work, you put in the manifestation. You try to make yourself hear and feel things, whether they're actually there or not. And I think that that creates a sense of imbalance for you that creates um that that then subsequently um creates this anxiety and you know just burden 
whatever it is that you could be dealing with. So there's a lot here in terms of what you've absorbed internally in someone's words and also what you've dished out. I think there's been a back and forth here with this Eight of Wands. This person still wants to talk. I mean, they're coming out of their stubbornness and they're still sort of, you know, contemplating, hey, how do I reconnect with Gemini? Having, having looked at all of the other options out there and determined that Gemini is pretty up there. See, the fact that this is opening up again is making me feel like I'm allergic. Do you know what I mean? See, it's obviously an angel. But like, what is it? I need to pause this camera. Hold on. Alrighty, mama. Let's see. Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to your reading. This is a general free tarot reading. It is not your personal reading. Thank you so much in advance to all the people who have acknowledged that this is also a no entitlement channel. I'd like to welcome you to Schnookum's Land. Hello to my existing OG Schnooks. And if you're new here, join the tribe, hit subscribe, and let's see what we have going um for your love life or your person or both i think you are finally purging something that has been holding you back forever and that's good or somebody is purging you um this person was distracted by a person place or thing there was some sort of interference that got them not up to par and you could easily see that because you felt like time was passing and they might they might have been wasting your time or just dragging things along like you would ask them about something and not hear about the result or the consequence for a while and so there could have been an argument the swords rule all of that communication debate into i was gonna say intercourse ah! oh my god discourse how about that um But yeah, a light is still burning. I think somebody here, despite the fact that they know that they have to disconnect with you in some way, whether emotionally, physically, or otherwise, I think this person is very well aware that um, a flame still burns. There's a there's a hope for a new beginning um, because this is an ace, but you know, the death is a little bit more powerful. So, um, oh, oh, wait a minute now. See how a new card can just change the whole meaning? Look at these aces all turning up. So somebody must want me to let you know that the disconnection that you may have felt with them was probably necessary so that either you or they could completely get a makeover. Literally, physically, or otherwise. <laughs> emotionally whatever because i mean all four aces are really driving home the point um usually the death would be more powerful it's a major arcana card which is more powerful than all of these minor arcana cards i mean this is temperance so it's also major so these two are more major but i will say that with the presence of these four aces kind of showing themselves um Somebody probably wants to let you know that it will be better. Whatever is newer will be better. Um, and that whatever state you were in before with this person was just too cantankerous, too dangerous, too much um, with the five of wands. And, you know, that you probably even deserve better than what they've given or what they've done. Um, but either way, should they remain or re-enter your life, 
um, this person is saying that they will be better and that whatever has happened in the past is in the past. You, on the other hand, seem to be walking away regardless. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this person. Wow. Okay. Cancer is not playing around today. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Maybe. Mm-mm. Okay, so <laughs> you're less forgiving. I don't know what's what's going on, but yeah, no, you're not interested now. Dang. Like, it, it's like you're turning your back. You're feeling so down, so depressed. You're like, listen, I would like to work on something that will produce fruit for me. Um, you're starting a new chapter. Oh my God. Okay. Some of you want something new in terms of a role, uh, an opportunity, a financial standing. Yeah. This is maybe an authority figure, a boss or somebody who might bring more money into your life. Um, you are standing strong and stubborn against somebody right now. I mean, with the strength card that I saw flashing in the emperor, you're very stoic. Yeah. Yeah. No BS for you today. No, no. You've slowed down sort of like any sort of chase. You know, you want something that's pure and proper. Um, your heartbreak is done. Three of swords, yeah, that's done. Ten of swords, tower. Ah, uh, man, you've been through quite a bit. And so now you're being very standoffish. Seven of wands, energy. They're scarring, showing, and baggage. You're open maybe to some reconciliation, but that person has to come correct. And some of it really has to be ordained by the heavens. Right now you're focused on work, feeling very much put off by something that could have happened. I don't know specifically what, and of course it's not a personal reading, so nobody cares. Um, but it looks like, you know, somebody is well aware of what they've said, what they've done, and whom they've done it with. And I think that person is probably ready to kind of come clean, you know, with this Ace of Swords um, and really express something to you, Queen of Swords energy. Wow. Okay. I guess there was a timing issue here, you know, some sort of timing issue. It was not the right time for something. Okay. That was intense, unexpectedly. Hi, Leo, and welcome to your reading. How are you? <laughs> Stop laughing. How are you doing, Leo? Okay, um, <laughs> this is Schnookums Land. Welcome to my existing OG Schnooks. How are you guys doing? What's up? Now you know that we're doing these readings every day, 5 p.m. Eastern. And thank you so much for everybody who has acknowledged that this is a no entitlement channel. These readings are free in their general and this labor is free. Um, and for that reason, we tolerate absolutely nothing on this channel. There's no kind of smirk, no, yeah, there's no entitlement, nothing, uh, uh, that can be possibly tolerated on this channel with all of this labor that you're enjoying for free. Um, having said that, if you do want your own personal reading, you're welcome to join and look at the channel homepage. Clicking the join button should get you that, um, it also comes with some wellness workshops involving other women. Okay. This one. Ooh. Stern, stoic, not playing those games with you. That's the Emperor card. That's particularly useful for those of you who don't really have a person. Somebody will enter into your life that's new and different. Yeah. And I think in this sense, okay, so today we have picked up somebody who believes in traditional roles period, full stop. Okay. Um, and traditional roles are not a bad thing. I don't know since when we started demonizing, you know, feminine and masculine energies since, since, since freaking when, since, since when can a man not be masculine and a woman not be feminine if they choose to? The presence of other people wanting, you know, to explore those different energies doesn't change the fact 
that some people still respect men holding doors open, men paying bills. Some people respect that and that's okay. You see, that's the problem. Everybody has a different viewpoint and you just have to find the viewpoint that's compatible with yours or not. It is not your place to judge or bring somebody else down for theirs. And what this energy is giving, especially for those of you who don't have a person, is somebody who says, okay, this is the role that we will play in this team together, in this love team, in this relationship team. I want to take control where my strengths are and I want to give where my strengths are and I'm going to expect the, yeah, mm -hmm, the same in return. I'm not surprised to see this MF, of course. Absolutely, King Wakanda. The King of Wands, absolutely. Yes, this is exactly what I was feeling. I, I, I'm not at all shocked. Because if you're dealing with a male person, that person will be masculine. If you're dealing with a female person, that female person will be masculine. Okay, this person is has a framework of ideas around their gender role in the world. Whatever that gender role may be, that's what they believe and that's what they're sticking to. Um, some of you may not put up with it. Some of you may say, no, I want 50-50 uh, in everything. And that's fine. You're entitled to that as well. But this person was raised in a certain way and wants a certain bit of, I think, respect in a connection according to their gender role. I will say, though, that it then in turn brews conflict, immaturities, insecurities, and so on and so forth. And there might be a power struggle that causes a fissure or disruption somewhere. Um, but certainly somebody from the past is peeking up here um, with that Six of Cups card. Um, this person could have gone through a lot recently with either their health or just something that could have, you know, needed surgery or treatment um, or somebody in their family could have and they had to give some time. But it seems to me with the Eight of Cups, some of you are dealing now with a situation in which someone has either left you hanging or walked away and that's been stressing you out. So that's for those of you who are thinking of somebody, they don't seem to be as present lately. They've been giving you, yeah, just a little bit with this Page of Cups energy, just, you know, that tiny little bit. And I think you're demanding more. You're trying to strategize, you know, what's going to happen. I think moving forward, um, there's some split energy showing up here, two of wands there, two of cups here. You try, I think both of you um, are going to reach a crossroads where you'll have to decide where your time and energy will go and, you know, basically how to invest in, in that wisely and I think you may decide that you know you are not getting enough of the attention that you need or that you know there's something with tradition religion values institutions here in this connection that just doesn't work for you and so you may decide that this is not going anywhere and that you're stuck and you feel single anyway so there's a lot on your plate right now which I can understand and a lot of you are looking for either a new beginning in love or just a way to find happiness without the presence of somebody else. And that's showing up obviously in your nines, nines being very independent numbers in tarot. This is a nine of cups, a nine of wands, and you have the nine of pentacles show at some point. If you're not satisfied in your situation, I see a lot of you walking away and just kind of cutting your losses, focusing on work a little bit more. Some of you have children to take care of, so that's been taking a lot of your time. Um, and I feel like you want something traditional in terms of a relationship, something a lot more committal. But some of you have encountered situations in which you've played third fiddle, three of wands, three of swords coming out here. And, you know, three is always a crowd. And so, you know, because of those past experiences, you've probably withdrawn a little bit. Somebody here really really wants to, I think, you know, prove something to you in your life as you as you go about looking or searching or connecting with somebody you already know. Um, I think I think there's definitely somebody who's like, I want to prove something to Leo. I want to show Leo that I can stand that fire, that fire energy with this king of wands here, this being a fire sign. And um, this person has a soft side, but they also have insecurities that are insurmountable sometimes, which cause them to walk away or be distant. OK, let us move on to what's Leo. Is it Virgo then? Wow, we're Virgo already? Wait a minute. All right. 
Hello Virgo and welcome to this reading. Of course we're going to do a lovely little reading for your sign. Very generally speaking of course. This is a general and free reading. Uh, I appreciate and thank all of you who have acknowledged that this is an entitlement free channel. There is no entitlement here. This is the no entitlement channel and I appreciate you for acknowledging that. Um, so we're going to get started and just kind of see what we have for you today. These readings are every day and they are free. That's the key. They are free for you to watch every day at 5 p.m. Eastern. And so for that reason, it is especially stringent on this channel, like behavior, decorum, things like that. Are very, very important here, um, as they are probably on other channels. But I'm just, you know, extremely strict about it, um, you know, and I try not to go there, you know, with people. But if I do, they'll be crying for a while. So we keep it really peaceful here. Um, and respectful and I'd like to of course welcome you to Schnookums land hello to my existing OG Schnooks if you're new here join the tribe hit subscribe if you want your own personal reading you'll have to go to the channel homepage look for the join button click that and see what you can get in terms of a personal reading right now this is general it's free and to all the Virgos in the world nine of pentacles indicating that somebody here is single solo or operating that way this person can't read you so when they can't read you, I feel like they get really nervous, um, you know, they get really stubborn. They don't really bend a lot. You know, it's their way or the highway. And for those of you looking for somebody, I see somebody coming. Um, I just feel like this part, there could be an age difference here or a power difference. Um, for others of you who are dealing with somebody, this person could have undergone, you know, some sort of spiritual struggle. For a while, yeah, you know, they've been in their head, Eight of Swords energy, Five of Cups energy, just kind of figuring out what to do in their situation with you and trying to take it easy, but also asserting themselves and being very stubborn, uncompromising. So there could have been argumentation or cutting off here. And it's just been really a lot. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is still turning, so it feels like this person is still connected to you. But I don't see a lot of love. I don't see any cups except for the Five of Cups, which is not a romantic, you know, card at all. You know, cups represent emotions and these emotions are not great. You know, the Five of Cups, you know, being very, very, um, the Bible Cups being very sad, very depressing energy. Okay. Um, on your end, I think you've experienced a lot of silence and you've withdrawn a little bit. I mean, you are the hermit by nature um, of the tarot system, but you've been very confused, I think, you know, as people have presented things to you about your person or about your love life, because you don't know whom to believe. I think this is a lot of confusion. I think it's mixed messaging and mixed signaling from someone. You've tried to do your research over here, Page of Swords Energy, or just, you know, you've probably been watching a lot of tarot channels and it's showing up in the reading. It's saying that you've been really holed up and watching all these tarot channels using all these resources, Page of Swords, that's the spycraft card. It's calling you out and it's saying, choose this channel and nothing else. No, I'm just joking. Wheel of Fortune though, I mean, being present here, I mean, I think that, you know, there's still some events unfolding between you and a person if you have one. Um, I would say the less you pay attention to it, the more something will become obvious to you. Because right now, if you've had other people, and I'm not surprised to see the hermit because I called you that, yeah, this represents you in tarot. If you have other people trying to tell you about your love life, you're probably not listening. And um, some of you need to change work so that you can earn a little bit more and you might be looking for that. Others of you are probably not listening as people are telling you, hey, you know, um, I know you feel a connection with somebody, but it's time to move on. You're stubborn. The person is stubborn, but I'm not feeling, you know, or seeing even any evidence of like emotional bonding or love here. And that should be, you know, uh, enough of a flag for you to say, okay, can I get more emotion out of someone in my life? Or is this it? Okay. Um, She'll walk away. <laughs> Hello, Libra, and welcome, darling. This is your reading. Keep in mind, of course, this is a general free reading on this channel. And this is also known as the no entitlement channel. The minute anyone speaks with entitlement is the minute that person is immediately what? Blizzard. 
Because it's a black, 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 black kind of day. And I will block, 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 block you right away. Yes. So you've seen the channel tra trailer. And if you're new here, you know how to act. If you don't know how to act, you will find out. Um, I would love to say thank you to all of you who have, not, who have acknowledged that this is a no entitlement channel and that these readings are free and general and they are not your personal reading. For those of you who want a personal reading, you are free to get one on the channel homepage by clicking the join button. Otherwise, please do not comport yourself as such. Now, getting started, let's do this reading for my schnookums. Welcome to schnookums land. Hello, schnooksies. All right. Um, listen, so still Libra season, of course. So, you know, we have to carry on with the Libra shenanigans. It is a must on this channel. Libra is heavily represented on this channel for whatever reason. I don't know why. They're just, there's just an, an enormous number of Libras on the channel. So we have, we typically give them, you know, uh, a lot of play. A lot of airtime because they just they are everything on this channel okay let's see hmm. something weird happened oh you've been dealing with a lot all your person has and they're not telling you okay let's see somebody might do an about turn let me look her my people say oh things have gotten quiet today what's going on for swords energy somebody's deeply thinking about you and oh god this is funny uh how can this follow this the okay somebody has this impression of you that um if they were to get with you it would be a lot of work i'm sorry to say that but i'm just keeping it real they feel like it would be a lot of work. For others of you who don't have a person in mind, um, there's been silence because of some burdens that, you know, you've had to take care of. And there are some things, there's a weight of the world, I think, that you're dealing with right now. I will say um, an opening will come soon, right? There is a gap, there's a space, there's a place uh, for love in your life and that space, place, opening will come soon. For others of you, I think somebody's just strategizing. <laughs> With this one wants, this person needs a strategy because they've said to themselves, okay, I have seen all I want to see about Libra. Now they're like going inwards and they're like, am I able to handle, you see, carry, bear the burdens of what it would take to be with somebody like Libra. Because Libra, you probably showed them your empress side. You probably, I don't know what kind of Gucci kiss you gave this person. You could have just given them a regular random target kiss, but no. You didn't want to give them a Sainsbury's kiss. You didn't want to give them a Walmart kiss. No, you went ahead and gave them a Gucci kiss. Now everything is very, very pricey in their heads. And they're like, how am I going to be with Libra? How am I going to afford Libra? How am I going to take care of Libra? Because Libra want, Libra has high expectations. Look at you. Dressed in white. What a sight. That's not really you. This card belongs to Sagittarius. But it's almost like this is the effect you have on people. It's like an angel. Do you know what I mean? Like an ethereal creature. And, you know, this person sees you as high, 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 high up there. Not high as in hello. High as in altitude. Hi, as in, geez, Louise, what have I got myself into? Why can't I just pick a basic other type of zodiac sign? I, no, I didn't. Do, I couldn't do that. I had to go round and round and round with this Libra here. That's what this person's thinking. I'm, I'm just being honest. They're like, and the funny thing is, they, <laughs> they're not letting go of that feeling anytime soon. Otherwise, they wouldn't be burdened by it. That's the thing. It's a lot, but they like it. <laughs> you naughty thing. It, you are so much, but they love it all. Now what? How are they going to afford your standards? And I'm not, I'm not just talking about your materialistic standards. I'm just talking about even your spiritual standards. Exactly. 
high priestess. Yes. You're so elevated to this person that they're like, okay. Oh, they might want to play hard to get. I don't know if you're going to give them the time of the day. If they do that, they better change their energy. And soon that I told you, this is you, by the way, the Empress. I told you, I told you that your empress energy it doesn't matter if you're male or female this card represents libras your empress energy it just does the most sometimes without you even trying i'm telling you the truth and that's why this person is like i've i've run into an empress i'm gonna be licking shoes for a minute okay as well as other things but we're not gonna go into that this person will have to you know what i mean jump from ralph lauren okay go from ralph lauren to hermes when it comes to you even spiritually i'm saying that even if this person had a ralph lauren personality they're going to have to upgrade their personality to an hermes personality to deal with you because they have so much respect for you. Look how elevated you are, high priestess. They're like, I've never seen, I ain't never seen no ish like this before. That's what they're talking about. That's how they're talking to themselves about you. I can't help it. I, I'm not telling them what to think or say. Ooh, wait a minute. Why was this at the bottom? What is this going on? What, seven of Swords and the Tower? And the Ace of Wands. So keep an eye out and make sure that you don't attract somebody to your to your being who feels like they have to wear a mask. Because that's the pressure I'm feeling from this person. This is masking. Seven of Swords. Because that's going to come to a crash. So I want you to be really honest with anybody who meets you and is enamored by you. And just tell them, listen, babe, it's all good. Be yourself. Because I'm going to be myself. I mean, I know myself is a lot and is, you know intimidating but it's still myself <laughs> you know what i mean if you're a peasant then show up that way so i can elevate you let me up let me upgrade you do you know what i mean if beyonce could do it maybe this libra can too or maybe not maybe it'll end in a crash i don't know all i know is that this person has some insecurities after bagging you. I don't know why, because it does not seem like this person is a scrub, not with this emperor's present, not with the high priestess present. I, I just feel like this person has some expectation in their mind of how to show up when they're with you. They feel a slight bit of pressure. Um, yeah, man, expensive pressure. Something is expensive in their spirit in their soul, when they think of you, it feels like a lot. And yet they're so intrigued that they're still not letting go. They feel like they want to work for it. What kind of glutton for punishment is this? Ah, some of you, okay. It's kind of making sense because some of you, especially if you don't have a person yet, um, I think you've made up your mind to play hard to get when or if you do. You've already started thinking about it. You're like, you know what? And another thing. And when I meet this person, I'm going to be guarded and I'm going to. Yeah. So you're telling yourself those narratives and that's what's producing a certain sense of, you know, I think burden and hardship when other people meet you and want to get to know you. Um, it's like you're closed off. Um, you're filtering much better, which I, of course, I will have to applaud you for that because you should filter. But, you know, other people are picking it up. I'm just saying, they're picking up what you're putting down. And you, you're you're learning, though, to take things slowly. Did this car just move? I'm telling you this card moved and I didn't touch it. I'll have to do the playback and see. I swear to God, this card moved and I didn't touch it. You see what's happening here? What if all these cards start moving? I would have a straight up heart attack. Do you understand? Okay, so now we have the hanged man coming out libra what's wrong baby what's wrong what is this hanged man four of cups <sighs> libra let me tell you what you do 
as Kappa Schnooks come out, comes out to speak to you. You know who Kappa Schnooks is, right? You can't be a Libra on this channel and not know who Kappa Schnooks is. If you don't know, you need to go to the channel homepage and look for a video with the thumbnail called Tarot Shocker and you will learn who Kappa Schnooks is. You need to be happy, okay? We all know that. Kappa Schnooks is coming to tell you, you will be paired. You will be with your person. It's just, I think for a long time, you've just not been feeling yourself. You don't know how to change that. But something in the heavens is happening. It's trying to bring you to your connection. Don't force anything, but just know that this is going to happen. King and Queen of Cups. Um, you're just feeling, oh, so checked out, my love. These are terrible. Like, obviously not terrible like bad, but this you're drained. All of this is drained. <laughs> all of it. Literally all. This is, uh, you know, burdensome. This is still tight gripped. This is stuck hung. This is very little, minor. This is guarded. This is not, this is boredom. Not seeing what's in front of you. Having an abandonment complex. Giving too much to the point of exhaustion. You need to chill. Do you know what I mean? Just chill. Everything is going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Um, you don't need to feel like everybody's an enemy. I know, obviously, your life experiences have taught you to be that way. But look at this. You know, the seed is being... Oh, snap. You're joking. Look. Look who came to meet you. The emperor came to meet the empress. See that? So you will pair up. And, and it will be a serious commitment, a marriage, in fact, for some of you, um, especially if you're with somebody now. But even if you're not, you will. I mean, somebody will pair with you. The issue that I picked up in this reading for most of you is that right now, as fine as you want to feel, you also are refraining from being the overgiver. You're holding back something. It's almost as if you're reminding yourself, don't do this again. Don't do that again. Remember the last time we did that? So you're being a little bit checked out. You're not really giving into someone or something. You're being guarded and just watchful and you're acting a little bit high sedity. And all of that is registering or will register if you haven't gotten there. It's, you know what I mean? It's registering. This person is certainly picking that up. They're like, oh, well, maybe I should hold off, stand back. Maybe I should be quiet. Maybe I shouldn't, do you know what I mean? Like they, they're picking up that part and, and they're, they're thinking of you deeply though. They really admire you, respect you, high priestess, empress, um, but they need to strategize like, okay, how do I thaw out Libra's heart um, and see the warmer side of it? That's going to be a task. Libras are very, very cute, adorable people. Are you kidding? But you can't, I mean, you can't, hurt, you can't hurt any human multiple times and expect them to be just okay. So there's work in it for your person and in your love life, but you're getting hitched anyway. So who cares? It doesn't mean like getting hitched obviously is the end all and be all of everything because then you could get hitched and get into more problems. Right. So some of you are better off actually single or dating. I'm just saying that if you want commitment, it is yours for the taking. Somebody is still eyeing you. There's stuff still going on in the ether and the wheel of fortune is still turning. OK. All right. Um, now let's move to Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to this reading. This is a general free reading for all the Scorpios. Thank you so much, guys, for acknowledging also that this is a no entitlement channel. So none of these readings are an entitlement to you. They are free and they are on my channel and they are not your personal reading. Should you require a personal reading, you're welcome to go to the channel homepage and click on the join button. Otherwise, welcome to Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnooks. Let's see what we have for you today. If you're not one of us, join the tribe. Hit subscribe. Ten of Wands energy with the six. Oh, so things have been harder without you or your input. Uh, when it comes to someone who admires you, there's a return and um, possible. There's also um, Something is committal. Oh, really? Somebody all of a sudden. You must have, yeah. 
Well, no wonder, because I'm suspicious too with this Seven of Swords. You must have pulled away your energy from people or things, and now they're curious about you. And they want to slowly approach somebody who feels like your absence is difficult, is now like trying to get a lot closer to you. I see somebody trying to bond with you quite literally, Four of Wands energy. Um, this person is not a talker. They've been silent for one reason or the other, but they feel to me like they want to reapproach you for whatever reason. The Six of Wands is a victor coming home to his spoils. Somebody does not like to lose in this equation. Um, somebody's been spying on you, spy crap card coming out there. They would like to know what you're up to and just what to do to get you to feel that heat, honey. Look at this sun coming out. You make someone really this happy? Hmm, interesting. Well, if you haven't met the person yet, you will because it looks like somebody has gotten themselves gotten themselves in a mess. They're, they're in love with you. Look at that, love is God. And if you know somebody that you're thinking of that person is apologetic princess of cups and they want to talk to you eight of wands energy i wonder what about oh my, this person is like enamored with you watching you they just feel like it's harder to not speak to you or for you guys not speak to each other are you not speaking it's like it's just too hard and you know for me it seems it looks to me with this um the seven of pentacles like you're just focusing on your own accomplishments you want to travel some of you um you've been really thinking about somebody who's of a different ethnic background than you and trying to weigh your options about you know how to strategize dating to be more effective for you good for you um oh couple schnooks is coming out again the queen that's you right there so there's something serious brewing for you as well, just like for with Libra. I saw that. Yeah, I think you're gonna be happy soon. I just it's just really interesting. Um, because I don't think you're gonna see it coming. I think a lot of you are focusing really on work and you know, getting your coins up. You know, you're yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of you have just been really sad and by yourself, or or even if you've been with somebody, you just not been up to full spirit some of you have caught a terrible cold already sorry to hear that um and now you're just kind of yeah it seems like you're distrustful of you know all of this really you're distrustful but you want to be happy and you see or feel something that could get you there and, that, and this person is really making the bid for it um and i think you will have this conversation that i talked about but I, I just imagine that you've been through a lot. Your family is concerned about you. They're wrapping their arms around you. Some of you have been out of a relationship so long, you don't even remember how it feels. But this is what you're yearning for. And when you don't get it, it feels pretty sad. Um, keep going, I will say. I see some of you just really don't trust anybody right now. And you're doing things very independently. Nine of Pentacles. Um, others of you are just you know, kind of waiting for somebody to come around and have a conversation with you. I think that person is willing, but I, of course, I would never tell you to hang all your hopes on that one person. Um, but yeah, you know, it keeps showing up. Look at that. Six of Cups history, you know, somebody again, returning nostalgically and wanting to communicate, sword rule communication. So we will see. Um, some people may not want that. Um, let's see. Let's do Saj. Hello, Saj. Welcome to this reading. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. If you're not one of us, join the tribe, hit subscribe. Would like to, of course, thank you so much for acknowledging that this is a no entitlement channel as the channel trailer shows you. So this is not your personal reading. This is, after all, free general reading for all the signs of Sagittarius. Thank you for joining us today. All right. Um, oh, nice new beginning there showing up. Uh, the full card. I think somebody is eager to express themselves with you and to really see where things can go. Look at this interest. Haven't seen this with you for a while. Somebody is really enamored. Um, I would say though that somebody wants to change the chapter on something with you. So this is especially good if you're looking for somebody new because that full card will take you there. It's just such a brand new beginning. It's the first of the major arcana cards. So it's definitely zero starting from scratch. 
and bringing you a lot of options it looks like with that seven of cups so you might have a few options to choose from even though i feel like your heart or your energy or your mind has been stuck on one person because that person has been stuck on you i don't know if that person is particularly available um so if you are stuck on somebody who's not available you'll have to you know really consider your options because i don't think their status is going to change for a while this is very standoffish i think also this person may like to play games so i think there's an option here for you though um that really really makes sense I mean, you know it's a lot more emotional i again three of wands i don't know why this three is coming out three is a crowd you can't have somebody who's not yours can you i think somebody wants to make you happy um really really enjoys you but there's drama that would come with being with that person and you'd have to be extremely patient dealing with that look at the king coming out to meet the queen though and of course the happiness here this is a whole like team um you have an interest in your money you also want to talk right now to someone who may not be as available because you know you've been receiving silence for swords energy not really hearing from the person so you've been driving certain conversations hoping that somebody would get out of the dark and kind of reveal certain things to you but again with the three of wands showing on both your sides i just think there's an interruption here by a person place or thing and you have been feeling you know sort of left out you know sort of abandoned somebody has triggered your abandonment complex and that has made you slightly defensive both of you are showing up as slightly defensive in this reading um, i wouldn't blame either of you i think you have some baggage that lingers from your past that randomly will get you upset or depressed about your love life and so this is saying that you have past issues here with this tower card that you still have to heal you see that red cross yeah you're carrying with you certain negative thoughts patterns and behaviors that you've not yet corrected and they sink you sometimes they bring you lots of you know i would say trauma baggage emotional scarring and so you can be very very charged when it comes to people without even knowing that you're being charged without knowing that you're burning right with this fire of course wands representing fire and you can be very standoffish when you want to be but i think you're waiting for somebody to make a move and they're waiting for you as well three of wands is also an indication of somebody about to do something right um but again you you know the, the universe is urging you to probably go into therapy this is a therapy card for me as well with the four swords and deal with issues that make you feel abandoned or deal with that conversation that you've been wanting to have and um, your money is looking steady i feel that you know you're attracting someone into your life um they could be wishy-washy at first but they bring a lot of joy and playfulness with them i just hope that they don't have a million different options to consider or another queen here because we can't have two queens either way there's a brand new beginning in love i think sort of waiting for you and so we'll see where it takes you and how much fun most importantly it'll get you to have because i don't think a lot of you have been having too too much fun recently okay all right let's get this show on the road i will see you in the next reading these readings are every day at 5 p.m eastern thank you to everyone who makes that possible and of course because of that reason um we take the channel very seriously okay thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow